Hi guys, this is Sushmita, your very own crypto guide and today I will be talking about quantum computing. Quantum computers perform calculations based on the probability of an object states before it is measured. Instead of just ones or zeros that classical computers do, this means they have the potential to process exponentially more data about certain functions compared to the classical computers. In quantum computing, operations use quantum state of an object to produce what's known as a qubit. These states are the undefined properties of an object before they have been detected, such as the coin spinning through the air before it lands in your hand. Rather than having a clear position, unmeasured quantum states occur in a mixed superposition. The problem is to solve an equation in this state, the superposition needs to be maintained or else it causes information decay. This is one of the challenges to quantum computing. Currently, all programming of a blockchain works on a classical computing techniques and there has been a rising speculation amongst the community that quantum computing can destabilize the existing structures of blockchain and cause forking. Although this is highly doubted because of a lot of protocols are termed as quantum resistant. There is another, yet stronger threat when it comes to the state of cryptocurrencies, the ability to mine quickly in a sudden quantum speed up could lead to destabilization of prices and more importantly, control the chain itself. An unexpected quantum speed up could, if hidden, lead to vast centralization of mining and possible 51% attacks. It's conceivable that these avenues of attack and perhaps other more unpredictable ones might emerge, yet post-quantum encryption planning is already in process and through the mechanism of forks, cryptocurrencies can be updated to use post-quantum encryption standards and defend against these weaknesses. So this was about quantum computing. To know more about such technical terms, do write in our comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.